I really must hate myself because I'm still I'm still subjecting myself to this uh, torment of playing torpedo boats and there's also a cat here behind me as well who's being cut out by the camera which by the way the camera does not like the shirt I'm wearing it's like it's like black and white but it's like very like closely striped together or whatever and uh, I, and you can it, the uh, camera does not like that so and Stewie is like right behind me. Uh, you can kind of see him uh, a little bit right there, but uh, he's be most of him is being cut out. So anyway, and I always talk about uh, torpedo boats being uh, suffering in randoms, and the reason for that is uh, games like this. You have uh, four destroyers per team, standard. It's not really that bad, but when you couple two uh, submarines per team, uh, which also isn't very uncommon, uh, stuff like that, four destroyers and two submarines, nobody wants to push into that. And then you also have the carrier sometimes, and then you end up with like two battleships and some radar cruisers to left. And... Uh, though torpedo boats excel when, uh, when stuff pushes into them, which, I mean, it's not impossible for them to still have good games, but they're just a lot more inconsistent than they once were. Not that they were very consistent to begin with. I mean, you could get fairly consistent results regardless with them, but, uh... The meta has just moved away from that, and it's now even more passive than it once was, and uh, a lack of targets doesn't really help either. So, all of this combined basically means that torpedo boats have a much, much harder time than they once did. Uh, I mean, like I said, it's still entirely possible for them to have good games, especially if you're a good player. You'll still have problems with consistency, but you'll still at least have at least decent games a little more often than uh, bad players. But, uh, we're about to get griefed by a carrier here because, of course, and he's going away. So... There's the Sherman down there. Holland, I have him blacklisted, so... And it's not the uh, Sherman in C. It's interesting. Looks like it's the uh, Mosfa's turn to get uh, have some fun over there. But Tana's not really doing much. If I could get some shots out... I can get like down south towards where this Yu Yang is. Now that daring is literally just going to sit and hug the island because he's a fucking stupid person. But uh, oh, these skip bombers could also hurt. Engine boost deactivated. Of course, it's always flying right over. No. Nope. It's not Nevsky radar that spotted that guy. Also, this daring is just full sending at the Mosva. No, he's not. <sighs> Stupid people, man. Sherman right down there. Thank you. Let's see. May be able to uh put some torps out at the Sherman. Uh 
I'm just gonna put all three sets out. I really would have preferred that Worcester didn't radar there. Because now he's uh, gonna reverse out of the way of the fucking torps. Unless he gets goaded into accelerating, which he's doing like that. Okay, this might not be too bad after all. Uh, here we go. Nice. Don't know why I had armor piercing loaded there, but... Who shot at me there? This is the Nevsky. This daring has literally just been on that rock the entire time. He is low on health because he did get clapped out by the, uh, well, not fully clapped out, but he did get hit by the uh, Mosfa a few times. Don't know what those were aimed at, but okay. Are you kidding me? These damn planes, man. And of course he's going after me because of course he would. Do I accelerate? Are you fucking kidding me? That's some bullshit. And of course there's a Nevsky radar. I am safe behind this island though. Montana turned all the way out because, you know, Montana's. I am safe from the uh, Nevsky and Yoshino HE though. I'm not gonna be safe from this because, uh, carriers. That daring is literally just going to sit on that island forever. So, contesting him is going to be basically pointless. Engine boost deactivated. Well done, Commander. Torpedoes to port. Come on, accelerate, daring. Yep. We're about to, uh, take A here, so there's that. That might help. But our team at C is not really doing much. Uh, Yamato and Colombo are both basically full health, and they're on uh, the border of the map almost. GK is uh, still alive when he's 1v1ing a Shima. Well, I mean, I guess there's an enemy Shima over there as well. So I guess that's, uh, can't hold that too far against him. Uh, the, our own Shima, that is, for not killing the GK, because he has more than just the, uh, GK to deal with. Just like I currently have more than just the Daring to deal with. The biggest issue is the fact that the Daring is just literally sitting on his ass on that rock doing absolutely fuck all nothing even though he is doing fuck all nothing uh, he is still holding contesting B 
Which in his mind, I guess that's good enough for him, but... St. Vincent got his zombie heal off. Come on, shoot back at me, Daring. Think any of those torps are going to hit the Goliath? Smoke screen set. No. That daring finally left the island, though. I feel okay picking this fight because I have the Worcester and the uh, and the health advantage there. Uh, losing our own Shima up north, I guess, was inevitable. But well, I mean, not inevitable. If the Shima just gave up as soon as the uh, Goliath shoved, that would have been enough. But. Hopefully, if our Venezia is able to clap out that Shimo with the help of the uh, carrier, that would help tremendously, because that would give me a clear shot to go after the uh, Kerfus and the Goliath. Let's see, Yoshino is just kind of island sit. Looks like the uh, Nakamov is more worried about the Worcester than me, which I'm okay with. Montana's just not gonna do anything, he's just gonna kite away. Which I'm okay with as well. Looks like the Kerr first. If he pushes through the islands there, I might have a good shot on him. But I'm, I really think that uh, Goliath is a little more valuable than the Kerr first, because the Kerr first will eat armor piercing bombs from the Malta pretty nasty. But I don't know how the Goliath eats it. If the Goliath is more resistant to the armor piercing bombs, he might be the uh, more valuable target. Although our Venezia is uh, get, getting, letting himself get locked bow in here, which isn't ideal. You kind of want to put a few torps out towards this Montana. The Goliath. I, I think the Goliath is the more valuable target. Let's see what's going on. Like. See, my phone just went off. Just casually answering my phone in the middle of the videos, but, you know, that's fine. Look, those torps on that Montana look good. Yeah. It's like he got his zombie heal off, which is unfortunate. Holland is about to get griefed by a Worcester, it looks like. That Nevsky is... No, never mind. Nevsky is not dead. 
Honestly, their team did kind of throw this a bit. Ninja that. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm just gonna full speed this. No. No. Holland kill. That's unfortunate. Well, this game is not amazing. I mean, it was fine. I did. I, I, I would at least like to think I did what I needed to do, but. Uh, I do think the enemy did kind of throw this a little bit, because they had two caps for a pretty long while, and, uh, my team at C stalled for a while, my Shima up at A didn't really do anything until the very end, and then he fed, so, uh, that wasn't ideal. But we still got, uh, a few good strikes in, we got the Sherman, the Montana, almost killed the Goliath. Would have been a nice if I got a double strike there, but oh well. Can't have everything, I guess. Got a solo base cap. We contested the daring for a while. Which, by the way, if you are a uh, any sort of DD, never hug islands like that daring did. I know it feels safe, but you're not... You are literally doing absolutely nothing. You have no torpedo angles on anything. You have no spotting on anything. And you're just being an, a, a hindrance more than anything. It feels like you're helping because you're stalling a cap, but you're not. You're just doing fuck all. Because uh, you're not spotting, you're not torping, you're not getting damage, you're not... You're really just not contributing anything other than stalling a cap th that even that could be being done by like a cruiser or something. So, uh, don't sit... In, uh, in caps like that. The only exception would be if there's an immediate threat that you want to hide from. Like if you're diving a cap in the face. If you say you're like a Kleber or something. Or a Marceau or any sort of fast DD really. And you're diving a cap in front of like three radars, a carrier, a submarine, a DD. Then that that's a little bit more forgivable. Because... Uh, there's an there's a very immediate threat that the island will protect you from, but in games like that where there's like where you can be off the island and still be fine, don't fucking hug the island because it just makes you look stupid. It wastes time. You have a bad game because you sat on an island for half of it doing nothing. So yeah. Uh, not gonna say any more about that. Just don't hug I don't hug islands, guys. It's just dumb. Uh, let's see, Parsifal, no hybrids, thank the gods. Uh, no radar either. That's uh fun. Sherman, forty six, Oster Yetland, and Yo Low. Blah. Jesus fucking Christ, I can't even speak. Um, Sherman, forty six, and Lo Yang all have hydro. Uh, Lo Yang has special hydro as well. Thrasher is, uh, I think, I don't remember if that's the one that has, like, the really stupid cur curving torpedoes. I think that might be Alliance that has those. I think Alliance is either the tier 8 or it's a premium. Which I, I would guess it's a premium based on a war gaming history of stupid shit being premium. But I'm not going to get into that. Instead, I think the game plan for right now is kind of head out towards here, uh, right in between the E and F lines, and see what I can spot, and hope I don't get spotted in return. I do outspot everything on their team, so there's that. Let's see here. I'm going to kind of start turning out a little bit here in case I were to check a DD. Sherman. Okay, anything else? It's the Rupert. He's probably going to be pushing. I'm 
This Rupert is honestly the more inviting target. Although, bo well, honestly, both of them have Hydro, so it's really not going to make that much of a difference, but... Uh, this Kutuzov is about to gamer turn in front of a Burgon and a Bismarck. And I see some AP coming in. No, that's for the Rupert. Of course it is. It's, uh, people shoot AP at the angled Rupert instead of the, uh, the gamer turning... Instead of the gamer turning Kutuzov. I don't want to get a little bit more towards the border here to get a uh, bit of a cleaner shot at the Rupert. Engine boost deactivated. I d I thought I pre-turned my t well I didn't I pre-turned my torps in the other way but they're supposed to be locked. But they are still turning, so... If this uh, 2501 could make that guy not turn, that would be ideal. But no, he's turning because submarine made him turn because he's a donkey. Although it does look like he's going to eat some of those anyway. Unless uh, tor Torpedo Spread says otherwise. Which it looks like Torpedo Spread is about to say otherwise. Because of fucking course. They were all launched along the very same line. They all uh, do that. <sighs> Fuck you. That honestly would have been a fucking dev strike if the fucking submarine didn't make him fucking turn. But instead, he did, and they all fucking missed. That Rupert was literally about to, uh, D dive that fucking island and I was about to dev strike him but the fucking submarine is a donkey and made him turn whatever and this right here is a uh, kind of the thing that you're seeing is with with torpedo boats being inconsistent and he killed them I don't like that that guy got that kill I, cause that should have been mine, but the, f I mean, to be fair, I would have done the same thing, cause I want damage too, so, I mean, I guess I can't get too mad at him. Also, I just got a shatter on a submarine. Well, I don't like that that submarine got that. Whatever. What you're seeing is the inconsistency of torpedo boats. Because uh, literally everything on this side has died. And now we're, I'm just kind of scrambling to try and pick up whatever scraps I can. And I'm going to hope that my team doesn't roll them too, too hard over on, uh, over on the other side of the map. Because I want to try and do something. Parsival is sitting behind the island, because, uh, of course... That Burgon is the most inviting target, but I don't think I'm going to be able to really get a good shot on him. Unless I take the time to go up north. Even if I manage to just get a good trade on the Sherman, that I'll, I'll be happy with that. 
Mines got clapped by something. The carrier's still not moving. Wonder where the Sherman went. Oh, it's probably in there. I'm going to just put Torps out like that. Because that Burgon is turning away already, so... Whatever. And, of course, the planes are over here. He's hopefully going to go after the 44 before he goes after me. And he went after me anyway, because of course. At first, I thought that was the uh, that that was the low yang I had hit in that smoke. Managing to get at least a few scraps, I guess. Let's see those planes there. And he's just about to waste that drop. Critical engine damage. And that Harlem's about to get shotgunned by a sub, because that's everyone's favorite mechanic. And of course the, uh, Kent the Burgon died before my Torps got there. Am I seriously about to turn into that? <sighs> I'm so fucking stupid. I thought I was outrunning that. I honestly thought I was outrunning that. And then I turned right into it because I'm fucking stupid. Now he's going after me with AP bombs, so yeah. Non pens, hello. Thank you for that AP bomb. But you know what? Fuck you. Problem solved, sir. And he all missed. Don't think that Austria Outland should have torpedo angles or range on me. He, yeah, he definitely doesn't. He might not even last long. I don't think the smoke will even last long enough for him to get a torpedo angle on me. Alright, 
The Parsifal is only now moving. Engine boost deactivated. Come on. And of course the Hornet gets that. Well, like I've said before, uh, this is kind of what you get with torpedo boats in uh, playing randoms. They're extremely inconsistent because of just games like this where uh, the enemy team just kind of runs away from you the entire game and you don't really get a chance to do a lot. Or uh, you get griefed by your team, like the submarine who cost me the Rupert dev strike. What the hell was that shot? No aiming bugs in our game, by the way. The ship is on fire. I want my engine back, thank you very much. Of course he... Well, I mean, I guess I can't really trash talk him for turning into a, por a torp when I did the exact same fucking thing earlier, so. Oh well. Uh. Now, I don't think I'm gonna get to really do anything else because. Uh. Because I think we're uh, either gonna cap them out or the Parsifal is going to die before I can uh, really do anything. It's gonna. There's no way I'm going to cap the base. Because there's a Burgon, Bismarck, Delaware, San Luis, and 2501 all uh, running at that carrier's head. And he's about to hit the border. And there's uh, B 25s coming in. So yeah, his ass is grass. It's just a matter of when and not if. But yeah, I mean, look at that. Someone clapped him pretty hard. I don't even. I don't know who that was. Whoever it was, they had a damn good angle on him. So, and of course the submarine finished him off because uh, used the cancer to destroy the cancer, I guess. But anyway, uh, I think that's enough World of Warships for today. Uh, I hate playing randoms right now because of, well, games like this for one thing. Uh, seven minute games or another and CVs and and uh, hybrids or another and submarines or another but anyway I'm not gonna get into that uh, yeah that's it I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow and I have a plan for tomorrow it's going to be like probably a two hour long video probably but uh, it'll be good I hope so anyway I am going to and this one here, and I will see you tomorrow with some Red Dead Redemption.